As more and more of us in the US are choosing or are forced to stay at home, our internet infrastructure is feeling the strain. Initially, it looked like the internet was gonna hold up well under the stress, but we are in a rapidly evolving situation and it turns out that may not be the case. In the search to find ways to reduce how much bandwidth is getting used, streaming services are now in the crosshairs. Could it be that Netflix and other streaming services will be forced down to standard definition? Hey, I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends, and it may be that Netflix and other streaming services will soon be limited to streaming standard definition programming for a while. Here's the backstory. Last week, EU Internal Market and Services Commissioner Thierry Breton called Netflix CEO Reed Hastings on the phone and asked about how Netflix might be able to help keep internet running smoothly in European countries by restricting its streams to standard definition. Standard definition, by the way, is 480p or DVD quality. It's a far cry from the 720 or 1080p HD stuff we usually watch and way lower quality than 4K. Turns out Breton also reached out to executives at YouTube and Amazon Prime Video and made a similar request. Since then, streaming services have complied with the request to the extent they're able. And at the time, Digital Trends reported that this sort of scenario didn't seem likely for US viewers. We spoke to an expert at Broadband Now who, as of March 19, acknowledged that internet traffic was up 12 to 15%, according to a few providers, but that it was unlikely Netflix and others would need to choke down streaming video quality to stabilize US internet connections. At the time, things were holding up well. Now it appears we in the US may get the same treatment. In fact, YouTube has already changed its default streaming quality to standard definition, though you can still bump that up all the way to 4K if you want to. But if US broadband isn't able to keep up with demand, we may see our streaming video quality restricted for a while. So what does that look like, literally? Well, if you've ever watched a DVD on your 55 inch or larger TV, you probably notice the picture looks a little soft compared to the high definition content you watch on cable, satellite, or a streaming service like Netflix. You might also notice that colors are not as vibrant and you may notice what we call banding in large areas of color. A sunset scene might look like it has a rainbow band of color going through it, for example. Now those who watch on smaller TVs or even smaller screens like those on tablets and phones won't see much of a difference. Still, for those who own 4K HDR TVs, the difference may feel a little bit jarring. Interestingly, you can still get HDR or high dynamic range because that doesn't take up much bandwidth, but it won't make much of a difference at standard definition resolution anyway. This does raise a few questions though. Why single out TV streaming services for bandwidth reduction? I mean, it does take up a big chunk, but then so do video conferencing apps like Zoom and WebEx. And then there are multiplayer online gaming platforms which share in consumption, so why streaming services? Well, perhaps it's because it might have the least impact on the public. Maybe because it's a switch that's easy enough to flip. Business must go on, and video conferencing is now the go-to for staying in touch with not only business, but with loved ones and for facilitating telemedicine and online counseling. These are vital services. It's also worth pointing out that internet service providers are actively working to increase bandwidth. The FCC has opened up Spectrum for wireless internet delivery, and ISPs are also working to make home-delivered internet more stable and reliable. So if watching in standard definition feels like a big step backward in time, let's remember, it's not gonna last forever. And if it benefits us all by keeping our internet connections from choking up or going down entirely, it's probably worth the sacrifice. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Are you finding this kind of info helpful? What else would you like us to cover? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.